Ever wondered what it's like to explore the city of love, Paris? Picture starting your day with a tranquil amble along the Seine River, a vital artery that has pulsed through the heart of the city for centuries. As the day breaks, the city slowly stirs from its slumber. The beauty of the sunrise over Paris is a sight to behold. The sky painted in hues of orange and pink, casting a warm glow over the city's iconic skyline. The Seine, more than just a river, is a testament to the city's rich history. A silent witness to the evolution of Paris, from a small settlement to the vibrant metropolis it is today. This river, a life source, holds cultural importance in the city's everyday life and has inspired countless artists, writers and musicians over time. As dawn breaks, the city of love starts to awaken, ready to charm its visitors. What better way to start the day in Paris than with a traditional French breakfast? Imagine stepping into a bustling cafe, a symphony of chattering locals, the aroma of freshly baked bread wafting in the air. In the heart of Paris, breakfast is more than a meal. It's a sensory experience. Picture biting into a flaky, buttery croissant, its delicate layers crumbling in your mouth, followed by a hearty, crusty baguette spread with creamy homemade jam. But no Parisian breakfast would be complete without a steaming cup of café au lait, a harmonious blend of strong coffee and warm, frothy milk. This isn't just about quenching thirst or satisfying hunger. It's a cherished ritual, a moment to pause, savor, and truly start the day. The cafe culture in Paris is about connection, an integral part of the daily rhythm where life slows down, even for just a little while. With a satisfied palate and a caffeine boost, we're ready to dive into the heart of the city. Our first stop is the world-renowned Louvre Museum. As the sun rises over Paris, the city of love and art, the day begins with a visit to this timeless monument of human creativity. Nestled in the heart of the city, the Louvre is more than just a museum. It's a testament to our collective artistic journey. Let's delve into the history of this grand edifice. The Louvre, originally a fortress built in the late 12th century, has witnessed the rise and fall of many eras each leaving an indelible mark on its walls. It metamorphosed into a royal palace in the 14th century, before finally becoming a public museum during the French Revolution. Each transformation has only served to enrich its architectural grandeur and cultural significance. Speaking of architecture, the Louvre's majestic facade is a blend of classic French Renaissance and modern styles. The iconic glass pyramid, a modern addition, is a perfect example of this fusion. It's not just an entrance to the museum, but a symbol of the Louvre's continuous evolution, embracing the new while cherishing the old. Inside, the museum houses an awe-inspiring collection of over 35,000 works of art, spanning over 9,000 years. Each masterpiece tells a story, from the enigmatic smile of Mona Lisa to the imposing form of the winged victory of Samothrace. Walking through the galleries is like traversing through time, experiencing the world through the eyes of artists who shaped our perception of beauty and reality. The Louvre is not just a museum, it's an epicenter of art and culture. Its importance to the art world is immeasurable. It's a place where the past and the present coalesce, where art is not just admired, but lived. It's a place that has inspired countless artists ignited innumerable imaginations and shaped our understanding of art. Leaving the Louvre, we carry with us a piece of the world's artistic heritage. As we step out into the Parisian morning, our minds are filled with the echoes of history, the whispers of artists, and the silent gaze of timeless masterpieces. The Louvre is not just a visit, it's an experience, a journey through the annals of human creativity. An afternoon in the bohemian neighborhood of Montmartre is an afternoon well spent, as we stroll through the labyrinth of winding lanes and cobbled streets, we are enveloped by an atmosphere that pulses with creativity and history. This is Montmartre, the famed bohemian district of Paris, where artists have found inspiration for centuries. Here, the air hums with tales of Picasso, Van Gogh and Modigliani, who once roamed these very lanes, seeking muses in every corner. The neighborhood is a delightful mix of the old and new. Charming bistros and quaint boutiques sit side by side with vibrant murals and street art, a testament to the district's enduring artistic spirit. The smell of fresh baguettes wafts from traditional bakeries, 
blending with the aroma of paint from nearby studios, creating a uniquely Montmartre scent that lingers in memory long after one leaves. As we ascend the steep hill, we are rewarded with the sight of the Sacre Coeur Basilica, crowning the city from the highest point in Paris. Its white domes gleam in the afternoon sun, a beacon of tranquility amidst the bustling city. Within, the grand mosaics and the awe-inspiring architecture are a sight to behold, and the silence is a soothing balm from the noise of the city. But it is stepping outside that truly takes one's breath away. The panoramic view of Paris from Sacre-Cœur is nothing short of spectacular. From the Eiffel Tower to the Notre Dame, the city unfurls beneath us like a beautiful tapestry of history and modernity. As we gaze at the cityscape, it's easy to understand why artists have been drawn to this place seeking to capture its beauty and energy on canvas. Montmartre, with its artistic heritage and stunning views, offers a unique experience, a blend of nostalgia and artistry that is quintessentially Parisian. An afternoon spent here is not just a visit to a neighborhood, it's an immersion in the soul of Paris itself. As we leave Montmartre, we carry the spirit of Bohemian Paris in our hearts. No trip to Paris would be complete without a visit to the iconic Eiffel Tower. As the evening unfurls its charm, the magnificent structure of the Eiffel Tower, or La Dame de Fer, as the French fondly call it, comes alive. This extraordinary feat of architecture was the creation of Gustave Eiffel, a name now synonymous with Paris itself. The tower, completed in the late 19th century, was initially met with criticism from Parisians. They considered it an eyesore, a stark contrast to the romantic, classical architecture of the city. But over time, the Eiffel Tower has become not just an integral part of the Parisian skyline, but also a symbol of French ingenuity and elegance. The Eiffel Tower stands at a staggering height of 330 meters, making it one of the tallest structures in Paris. Its unique lattice structure, a marvel of engineering, is composed of 18,000 individual iron pieces. It's a testament to the audacity of human ambition and a symbol of the industrial age. As the sun sets and the city begins to glow with the warmth of a thousand lights, there's nothing quite like ascending the tower. A glass elevator takes you up higher and higher, until the city appears as an expansive canvas painted with glimmers of gold and patches of shadow. The view from the top is simply breathtaking. Paris, in all her glory, stretches out beneath you. The Seine River snakes through the city, reflecting the city lights on its calm surface, while the Montmartre district, with its bohemian charm, nestles quietly in the distance. The Eiffel Tower isn't just a monument, it's an experience. It's a journey through history, an appreciation of architecture, and a love affair with the city. It's a place where proposals are made, where champagne toasts are shared, and where memories are created. As the city lights up, the Eiffel Tower stands as a beacon of love and romance. It's a sight to behold, a memory to cherish, and a symbol that resonates with the heartbeat of Paris. We end our day with a serene cruise along the Seine River. As the twilight sky darkens to a deep indigo, the city of Paris transforms into a magical spectacle of lights. The Seine River, the city's lifeblood, mirrors this radiant spectacle, creating a mesmerizing dance of shimmering reflections. The cruise takes us past some of the city's most iconic landmarks. Notre Dame, the Louvre, and the Conciergerie all stand resplendent, their grandeur magnified by the artful illumination. But the jewel in this glittering crown is undoubtedly the Eiffel Tower. Standing tall and proud, it sparkles like a diamond, casting a magical glow that seems to embrace the entire city. The cool night breeze whispers tales of romance and adventure as the soothing rhythm of the river lulls us into a state of tranquil bliss. As we bid adieu to the city of love, we carry with us memories of a day well spent. A Paris, a city that captures hearts and evokes emotions like no other. Today, We've savored the aroma of a fresh croissant at a Parisian cafe, been awestruck by the grandeur of the Louvre, felt the vibrant energy of Montmartre, marveled at the twinkling lights of the Eiffel Tower, and floated along the serene Seine under a starlit sky. Each moment, each spot, a testament to Paris's unique charm and cultural richness. This city of love, with its cobblestone streets and iconic landmarks, has a way of leaving an indelible mark on your soul. 
It beckons you to delve deeper, to uncover more of its enchanting tales and hidden gems. So, whether you're a seasoned traveler or a curious wanderer, Paris promises an adventure like no other. If you enjoyed this journey through the city of love, give us a thumbs up, share this video, and subscribe to our channel for more travel guides. Until next time, keep exploring.